see what happened is uh, they blew up the the truck we were seeing mm. with the wounded, you know, and uh, went down the cliff, you know, and uh, just bodies mm. flying all over, you know. So you, what do you, I mean, what do you remember about being captured? I mean, obviously that's probably, it's pretty, probably a difficult moment. Do, do you have a lot of memories of those initial moments of being captured and what, what you were thinking? Yeah, this uh, first thing that entered my mind is why did I let it happen? So uh, I had to make the best of it. <clears throat> when you say, why did you let it happen? I mean, there's probably wasn't well, much. Well, uh, I figured if I would have had some ammo, mm -hmm. I would have battled it. But then, then they happened that way. Where were you wounded at? What, what, what happened to you? I had a bullet in my leg and my arm and uh, my eyes. Hmm. What company were you in? What was that? Okay, okay, but okay. Seven, uh, seven division. So you you were POW for three years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. How did you do it? We had a choice uh, with the food. Uh, we had a frozen potato. Either we had it in the morning or in the evening. One potato. One potato for the whole day. That went up for six months. Uh, the only fluid, the liquid, it was the snow. And we sip it through the snow. And that's uh, the only liquid we had. As far as surviving, uh, seeing uh, guys just <laughs> bodies of prisoners chained to the wall. Just you got it then. What what did you think when you were released? What, what were your I mean obviously you had to be happy but I, mean, I, I uh I kissed the ground. Hmm. And war is nobody's. It's for nobody. 